I'm Katrina Walker. Welcome to Unbreakable Truths. Today, I have the pleasure of sitting with WNBA legend Kim Hampton. She played three seasons for the New York Liberty. She's also worked as a full-figured model, an actress, a singer, and a motivational speaker. Kim Hampton, how did I get you here on this show? And thank you for coming. Oh, Katrina, thank you for having me. <laughs> I just want to talk to you about your amazing career and just all the many hats that you've worn. And first, if we could start off with, I just want to know about basketball. Wow. Well, the craziest thing, if you notice, I'm tall. I'm like 6'2". And as a freshman in high school, um, I was six feet tall at the time. And I didn't want to play basketball because I was so shy. And, you know, I didn't want to do anything that was going to bring any attention to myself. Yes. But the coach kept asking me. And so finally I gave in and started playing. Uh -huh. then, then, you know, the track coach asked me to, to throw the shot put. So fast forward to my senior year. I'm uh -huh. one of the top athletes in the nation in track and basketball. And so, um, you know, basketball really kind of gave me some, you know, I guess a better body image, self-esteem yes. and yes. all of that. And so who would have known it ended up being, I always say that sports and athletics is more than just a game. So I yes. ended up getting an athletic scholarship wow. um, to college. So I went to college for free. And when I graduated from college, mm -hmm. there was no professional basketball in America at the time for women. Okay. So I went abroad. I played six years in Spain. Y si yo hablo español también, si yo puedo hablar contigo en español si quieres. What you just said. I said, and yes. I So I said, and yes, I speak Spanish too, so I can uh -huh. speak to you in Spanish if you'd like. Oh my, so beautiful. Yeah, aunque yo que te pela en Italia. What did you just say? Por cuatro años. What you say, pero I don't know. What did you say? I said, and I played in Italy for oh. four and a half years. But in 1997, they okay. launched the mm -hmm. WNBA, which is the sister league yes. to the NBA. Yeah. And that meant women would be playing in NBA arenas. And I, I remember a lot of naysayers not feeling that this league would last. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I didn't care what people were saying. I, I just knew that, hey, I was drafted to play yes. for the New York Liberty. And it was... Just wow. amazing. I mean, we were treated like rock stars. I mean, oh we had gosh. so many celebrities yes. that wanted to get to know us like, hey, you guys uh -huh. playing? Oh my gosh, you mm -hmm. know, and, and it was just so wonderful. Wow. And to know now that mm -hmm. the league has lasted for 23 years, mm -hmm. uh, to know that I am a, a mentor yes. and that you know, the younger players look up to me, right. um, you know, it's just awesome. And I, and I love the fact also mm -hmm. that I could, you know, I can... As I speak to young kids mm -hmm. who are aspiring to yes, be professional yes. athletes, I can talk to them about the reality yes. of what it takes to get to and that also next level. And also the difference of the kids mm -hmm. now thinking they're going to sign these multi-million dollar contracts. Exactly. What's the difference of then and now? Exactly. All of that. I mean, just, just helping them to be realistic about it. Mm -hmm. the, the work ethic. No, yes. Number one, if you look at, you know how many people there are actually in the WNBA. There are only like 112 players in the WNBA, maybe yes. 430 in the NBA. Uh -huh. That's less than 1% of the world's population. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that you can't do what you're doing now, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. and think that you're going to get to the NBA or the WNBA. And so I love talking about the reality yeah. of that yes. and what it takes and how you have to position yourself right. and the things that you have to do on your part. That's amazing. And especially for girls, playing basketball, you know, that's just, that's phenomenal. Um, I want to also say to you, you have a child now of your own, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And has she picked up any of her mama? <laughs> Ways and habits. Definitely. Okay, things that you enjoy. And what's that? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, my daughter, Arielle Jackson. Arielle. Yeah, she's a sophomore at Bishop Lachlan High School. Wow. And she definitely plays basketball. She's a great basketball player. She's just an overall uh -huh. great kid, oh, great wow. personality. Oh, wow. uh, and she looks like me. Everyone oh. says she looks like me. Oh. Uh, you know, so I've just been trying to guide her, yes, you know, yes. on the mental aspect right, of what it right. takes to be an elite athlete, mm -hmm. um, you know, an elite student athlete, yes, shall absolutely. I say. She's enjoying that, huh? Yeah. She, she loves it. Great. 
Um, another thing, I, I noticed that you do so many other things. I have done so many other things. Mm -hmm. Modeling being one, you're very beautiful, oh. big old pretty dimples. And well, we kind of look just, alike. Look at, look at these cheeks. Yeah. Look at the mirror, y'all. But uh, <laughs> you're beautiful. Yeah, so modeling. Tell me about your modeling career. Well, modeling was something I always wanted to do as a kid, modeling uh, and singing. And, and singing. but then the sports took over, okay. so I kind of put those things on the back burner. Uh -huh. But when I got to New York, when I got drafted uh -huh. uh, in 97 to yes. play with the New York Liberty, uh, I was uh -huh. approached by a click modeling agency and uh -huh. I was like, huh, what? Wow. And so I started doing it professionally. Then yes. I eventually moved to Wilhelmina mm -hmm. and started doing uh, the modeling professional, nice. the plus size model. The beauty of social media now oh, yeah. um, and, and just the platforms, the various platforms that uh -huh. we have, I think it's changing the, the narrative of what is beautiful. Yes. Uh, because back then when I was uh, signed with um, Click, I would mm -hmm. I became one of the original Lane Bryant V-Girls. Okay. That's when they launched the whole V-Line, their mm -hmm. Venezia line. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was, they really probably didn't understand what that was and what it looked like. And, it, and a lot of times and quite often, it was still closer to the straighter size, like the, sm the girls that were, 10s, 12s, and 14s worked a lot more, where now you see some of the bigger women, the 18s through 24s and 26s, that are actually getting the opportunity to work. You know, so, I, you know, being a pioneer in that as well, um, I think it's, it's, it was amazing to have had the opportunities uh, that I've had through that mm -hmm. and the opportunities that I would like to still continue to have because I'm a tall plus size girl. Yes, yes. So, you know, I'm outside of the straight size yes. as far as height, you know, and right. things like that. So right. it's really different. You talk about sleeves, like yes, look at this yes, sleeve, yes, yes, yes. you know, but um, I had the opportunity to collaborate I uh, an idea with Ashley Stewart Great. to cater to the Great. taller plus yeah. size woman. So we kind of did a launch. We launched a little line that was that was kind of created. Uh, it was my inspiration to okay. cater to taller plus size women where we would have, you know, pants that were longer and taller. Right. If we wanted a cute jumpsuit yes. that we could fit it or we could have sleeves yes. that, you know, fit us or shirts that came a little bit, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, and things like yes. that. Yes. So, you know, again, being a pioneer, yes. um, just seeing how much the plus size industry has grown. It, it is amazing. I became a cover girl for the Queen Latifah, the launch of Queen Latifah's makeup wow. line, and I did some black opal stuff. So, you know, I, I really oh, wow. got a chance to experience that world. Now we have talked about all these many hats that you've worn. Tell me about acting. Well, you know, it's, it's so funny. Um, I was a theater major, but I really didn't, um, think that I would get into acting. I don't know why. I guess because the athletics took over and took over in such a big way. But once I started playing in the WNBA, it just seemed like everything, all of my childhood okay. dreams just took off. Um, that's when, you know, the modeling started and, and the acting, Spike Lee reached out to me and, and wow. he was, you know, he's a Knicks fan, a serious yes, Knicks fan. Yes, yes. And so he would bring his, you know, he would come and bring his family to our games, uh -huh. the WNBA uh -huh. games. And he was doing a movie called She Hate Me and he asked me if I would come and audition for it. And so mm. I got an opportunity to do that and Juana Man and then I met we met Bill Cosby myself, oh my you know, and we got a chance to do uh, to do one wow. of the episodes, you know. And so it was just amazing. It is. And you know, you look at your show talking about mm -hmm. Unbreakable, you know, and I look at myself mm -hmm. and I've done so many things and we have a tendency to associate associate ourselves with our titles and what yes. we've done. Yes. But we continue to move on through right. life, you know, so it was it was a little bit of a transition. Yes. And it was kind of tough trying to figure out who I am life after basketball. Yes. And so I realized I had all these childhood dreams that I would mm -hmm. like to do. And so when I have opportunities, I just decided I'm just going to say yes. How do you, are you able to just juggle all of these things and, and maintain yourself to keep yourself intact and look so wonderful? Well, thankfully, everything doesn't happen on the same day or right. at the same time. Absolutely. You know, it's it's ebb and flow with everything. I mean, um, you know, the parenting, of course, is every day. But, you know, you might get a modeling job, for example, an opportunity. But that's yes. just usually one job. And it right. might last a day or, okay, okay. you know, the prep for that. Yes. Or if I'm singing or doing something, I'm gearing up. I might study and be working to, to do a show. Right. And then that's over. And so mm. everything ebbs and flows, you know. Just kind of pops up and then goes away. And the singing. Thrown in the park, 
watching winter turn to spring. I just want to say to you, thank you so much for coming out and um, for, you know, sharing your life, you know, your truth, you know, because you're certainly unbreakable. I appreciate that. Thank <laughs> you for having me. Thanks. And thank you for all that you are doing. Yay! <laughs>